Hello, this is Russell from fluentforlife.com and I'm a so-called polyglot, a language coach and teacher. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about language difficulty. And the main question I'm gonna answer in this video is, what is the hardest and most difficult language to learn? Let's get started. What is the hardest language to learn? There are five different elements to take into account. Yeah, number one is your mother tongue. What is your mother tongue? If your mother tongue is Spanish and you're gonna learn Portuguese, that's gonna be simple and pretty straightforward. But if your mother tongue is Mandarin Chinese and you have to learn German, well, that's a whole other story because those languages come from different language families. So that's really the first thing you wanna look at, your mother tongue. Number two, the second factor that you have to take into account is have you ever learned another language before? So what is your experience learning other languages? If you've learned a foreign language before, it's probably gonna be way easier to learn a new language because you've already created a routine and what usually happens when you learn a third or fourth language is that you can rely on the skill set and the different techniques that you already used before and if you want to know more about how to learn and acquire new memorization skills um, i put a link down in the description and you can uh, check out my memory masterclass for free now point number three is your mindset do you think you can learn a new language? Do you have a positive mindset towards learning languages? Do you think it's gonna be easy? Do you think it's gonna be hard? Well, all these thoughts about a potential language learning journey can really influence the success or failure of your language learning. Really try to coach yourself, try to talk to yourself as if you were your best friend when learning yeah you can do it yes i want to do it i'm getting better every day yeah really this positive mindset because if you're going to beat yourself up it's probably going to be way harder and you want to have fun so make it fun for yourself tell yourself positive things to really encourage yourself um, to learn more and to keep learning so point number four motivation i see it as this you have the materials you might have a teacher you might have um, some apps on your phone. You, you might feel ready to go and ready to roll, but, well, this whole material that you have is like the car. The car is just standing there and standing still, but you want to get that car driving. And what do you need to drive? You need gas. And motivation is your gas. So you really need a lot of motivation. You really need this gas to get started, to get learning, to get doing stuff. Because learning a language all boils down to taking action. And in point number five, I wanted to share uh, information about the Foreign Service Institute of the United States. They created a whole list of different languages and the approximate time an English speaker will need to learn a language. But what you can see here is that they divided the languages in different categories. So category number one uh, includes languages such as Afrikaans, Danish, Dutch, French, Portuguese, etc. And it will usually take up to 600 hours to learn one of the languages of this category. Category number two then um, includes German. Category number three languages such as Indonesian, Malaysian and Swahili. For category number four, you supposedly need a thousand and one hundred hours to learn. So, so this stuff is getting serious over here. And those are languages such as Bosnian, Estonian, Finnish, Greek, Polish, Russian. Yeah. And in category number five, you can find languages such as Japanese, Mandarin, Chinese and Arabic. But then again, this list is a good indication for English speakers. 
um, to see how much time they might need to learn a language, but I find it pretty inaccurate um, because there are so many other factors, right? Your motivation, your mindset, have you learned languages before, and your mother tongue, right? This is only for English speakers. So, so those were the five points that I wanted to share with you. Maybe you have some other points to share, and I would love to know what was your hardest language to learn? Thank you very much for watching. If you want to know a little bit more about me, you can download my free ebook about the three reasons why you fail at language learning. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to get some notifications about new videos coming up. Thank you so much and see you soon.